Hey, this is James from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. Uh, today we'll be adjusting the Dreamweaver template. It's part of a series of tutorials uh, where we'll be uh, creating a website from start to finish. Okay, here's what we'll be doing today. We'll be inserting some headers and footers into our Dreamweaver template. Now to do that, we're going to need to adjust our CSS, our cascading style sheet. We'll also be navigating through code view and um, at the end we'll preview our website in our browser. Now some of you may have noticed that I already have an existing CSS file in my CSS folder. If you haven't already got a CSS file, don't worry because we're going to delete it and we're going to create a new one. So highlight the file, press delete and then click yes. And now we're going to go to file new, we're going to create a blank template, HTML template and we're going to scroll down till we find a free column fixed header and footer. Now, that's what the template looks like, that's a preview. We need to make sure it's XHTML 1.0 transitional and press create. The style sheet will save as main and we'll click on a CSS folder and click save. Okay, now that will bring up our template and here it is. Okay, first things first, we're going to start with a header and we're going to have a look at that inside of code view. So I'm going to click on the split button which is going to split the screen between code view and design view. Okay, notice when I highlight header, it highlights it in design view for us and it's in the H1 header tag. Now with it highlighted in design view, I'm going to press delete. Now I've deleted the text but the H1 header attribute is still there, so I'll delete that and press refresh. Once that's done, the header div tag collapses to its default height and width. OK, make sure your cursor's inside the div header tag, and we'll go to Insert Image. In the previous tutorial, we saved our images to our Images folder in our site root, so go into the folder and double-click on the header image. Now I'm going to make the images a little bit bigger so we can see what we're working with. So I'm going to double-click on the header, now the alternate text, um, that's what appears whenever your image fails to load up on your website. So I'm going to type in header and I'm going to click OK. OK, so the header image has just been placed. I'm just going to minimise the panel so we can get a better view of what we're looking at. OK, so here we are. We can see that the header image is too long. Um, we can also see that it's being pushed away in the left hand corner. That's approximately 20 pixels. Now the reason it's doing that is because of the CSS styling, the default attributes that are inherent as part of that header CSS style. Now I've just tried clicking on the header div tag and I can't quite get to it because there's a lot of other div tags and attributes on screen. So I'm going to click on the image and that will highlight the image inside of code view and it will allow me to see my header which is just above. Now if you place your cursor anywhere inside the header div tag itself uh, you can be assured that you're definitely inside that header div tag. It also highlights it with a yellow border. Uh, now we're going to go into our CSS styles panel. You can reach the styles panel by going to window styles Right, let's click on the plus icon for main CSS and that will expose the whole route. Now another way to make sure we're definitely inside that header is to have a look down here. The div pound header is highlighted and it's inside a div container which is inside a three column fixed header template. Double click on pound header and we're going to edit this div tag so that we can fit this header image in properly. So we'll go down to the box category OK, having a look at the padding, we can see that the image is being pushed away 20 pixels from the edge, the left edge of the div tag. Let's zero out all of the padding. I'm going to click on Same for All and Zero. And we're going to do the same for the margins as well. Click Apply. Watch what happens in the top left hand corner. Now the CSS change has taken effect. The padding has gone, so the image slides back into place but we've got another problem. The header image is sticking out on the right hand side. There's two things we could do. We could either constrain the image to fit with inside the, um, the template 
or we can extend the rest of the template to match the size of the header image. What we'll start by doing is making sure the header div tag uh, fits the image correctly. So we'll double click on the header uh, tag again and we'll go into the box category and we're going to put in a width of 980 pixels which is the same width as our header image. Now once you've done that, click on the apply button. Now it has changed, although you can't see it, but the div tag is now enclosing the um, image itself. You might see it with a, a slight yellow border. Now we need to go about extending the rest of the template to match our header div tag. To know what we need to edit, we need to go down here and you'll notice that the header is inside div pound container. So that's the attribute we're going to edit now. So we'll click on pound container and we'll go down to the box category and again we'll change the width on this to 980 pixels. And what that's going to do is extend the whole template, the whole container out to match the same as the head tag which is 980 pixels. Click apply and then press OK. Okay, so far so good. It all looks like it's fitting into place now. Let's preview it in a browser by clicking on the world icon. And I'm going to preview it in Mozilla. We haven't saved our template yet, so we'll save it. And I'm going to call it index.html. And I'm not going to save it in the templates folder. I'm going to go up one level and I'm going to save it into the main route. OK, click Save. Um, now it's going to ask us to save our CSS. We'll click Yes. And here it is. It all looks good. We still need to put our footer image in. Um, as you can see, it's all constrained. It's all the same width. And that's perfect. OK, let's put in our footer image now. I'm going to put my cursor inside uh, where it says footer, inside design view. Notice we're in a paragraph inside div pound footer, inside div pound container. Now, obviously we're going to have to adjust the div pound footer in a CSS style, so let's delete the footer, the actual word, and from code view, click refresh. Now don't panic, because at this point you might think you've deleted the whole footer div tag. You haven't, it's just got nothing inside of it, so it's completely collapsed. So just have a quick look in code view, and you'll see, yep, we're still there. Now we're going to put in the footer image, so let's click and make sure we're definitely inside that footer. And we'll go to insert image. Now let's double click on the footer and uh, the alternative text box will type in footer as well. And we'll click OK. So our image has appeared. It doesn't look quite right. Let's preview it in the browser. So I'm going to go up to the globe icon again, preview it in Mozilla and we'll save changes. Now it looks like the image is being pushed away just like the first header image that we put in but it's a good job we know where to go to fix it and how to fix it. So let's go back into Dreamweaver. Okay, click on the image and let's have a look at where we need to go. We're on the image which is highlighted. It's inside a div pound footer which in turn is inside div pound container and that's inside body of the three column fixed header template. So let's adjust the CSS for div pound footer and we'll double click on div footer. That will bring up the CSS dialog box. We'll go to the box category and we're going to zero out all of the padding. So go same for all and make sure it's on zero. We'll do the same for the margins and we'll click apply and watch what happens. It will slide right into place. So press OK and let's preview it in our browser up to the globe icon and preview and there it is how cool is that join me in part four where we'll be inserting a navigation bar just under our header image uh, that we'll use as uh, the main navigation for our site